first of all, which variable is easiest to get all by itself? A y in which equation? Equation 1, equation 2. And in second question, the y is easy to get to itself. You just have to subtract 5x on both sides. So then we take our first equation and rewrite it. But instead of writing y, we write negative 5x plus 9, because that's what y is equal to. And now we use our algebra skills from grade 9. 2x, negative 3 times negative 5 would be plus 15x. Negative 3 times 9, negative 27 equals 7. These are like terms. We can add them. Opposite of minus 27, add 27 to both sides. You get 34. Divide by 17, and the x value is 2. Yeah, because you have to distribute the negative 3, right? Negative 3 times this and negative 3 times 9. So what you're doing, and you don't even see me do this, but every time I write a line, before I write the next line, I check, is this, like in my first line, I check this. Did it match with that? Because sometimes you just write down a different number just for the heck of it, right? You're right you see negative 5x plus 9. And you're like, I've got something to do at 8 o'clock tonight. And you write down negative 5x plus 8. Because your mind went somewhere else in between. So you do that quick little check. Is it the same? Yes. Then when I got to the next line, the only thing I changed was a 15x and the minus 27. I do a quick check to see if my signs are right. Because making it a positive 27 instead of negative 27 could make your work harder after that. So I'm always doing a quick little check. Now that I've got x equals 2, I could plug it into either equation. I'm going to plug it into the second one. 5 times 2 plus y is equal to 9. Subtract 10 on both sides, and I get y is equal to negative 1. And I now know the point where those two lines intersect. Our solution is 2 comma negative 1. There are two more slides. 